Hey guys, thanks for coming back to my channel. I'm going to do a product review on some speakers I just picked up. But before that, I wanted to ask you about phones and see if you had any input that you could leave in the comments. I'm using an Android Samsung A71 as my primary camera phone. So when I take pictures of thumbnails, I use this. I think they're really crystal clear. It's a 64 megapixel uh, four lens camera on that. So I think it's really good for that, it stayed consistent. They've upgraded the model to the A72. I don't think that's gonna to be too much different than the last one. But what I use primarily for my video is the iPhone 11. And I hear that the iPhone 13 has some great features to it with more uh, stabilization and better nighttime photography, which by the way, the Samsung A71 is great nighttime photography if you're taking pictures. So I just wanted to know if you had any input on what phone might provide the better solution for this. Um, all my equipment is Apple, so if I could get onto the iPhone 13 and have the same quality of images as that, that could save me from carrying around two cameras. All right, thanks, I look forward to your input on that, and let's go take a look at the review. Hey guys, I don't normally do product reviews, but many of you have heard of the product uh, products from Anchor. It's a common brand that you'll find in stores like Best Buy. And I always thought that they were a house brand, kind of a cheap knockoff. I brought this from America, just thinking that if I got a motorcycle with a cigarette lighter in it, I could use it as a USB adapter. So I brought that. You know, commonly they'll make this kind of a, a block for, for portable plugs. And they have a product called the Soundcore. This is the Motion Plus, uh, which is a really great sounding speaker. It's a lot of speaker for a little price. I think I paid around probably 80 US dollars for this. It's a bit heavier, so it's not the best thing to travel with. But if, you know, it's inexpensive enough, so if you need to bug out, you could leave it behind. But I also saw a great deal. I didn't, I bought that instead of the bigger version of it, which is the Motion Boom. And the Motion Boom, I actually heard on the beach the other day, it sounded fantastic. And the price normally here in Thailand is around 178 US dollars, which I thought was really high for this. So it went on sale, and it went on sale for about $100. So I picked it up, and that's what this is about. So I'm just gonna go for the unboxing here of it, and we'll take a look at it. It's a great sounding speaker. I'm gonna put the link into the product guy that reviewed this. And I think you'll see that he really takes you through some in-depth, oops, sorry about that. He takes you through some in-depth uh, review. Uh, very technical, if you, want to see that, if you want to go that deep into the weeds, he does it. Uh, this is a completely waterproof speaker and it floats. And that's that's it. And it's not that heavy. Actually, it feels a little bit lighter than the other one. I think you need to have the weight. Let's see, it's slightly heavier. What's good about this is this can act as your home base station, and you connect or have an ability to connect both speakers together uh, by Bluetooth. So you can actually run two sets of speakers off the same music in your home and get full stereo sound with it. Anyway, I'm looking forward to trying it out. Uh, let me know what you think about this kind of review and, and uh, definitely follow up on those links. It's a really interesting topic. When you travel, you try to end up with some small speaker that carries some good music with it. And I think that uh, on this one, I found the solution. Take care, thanks.